everyone, it's Miss Lauren and Maggie, and we're apparently really excited about Sunday school or this treat that I've got in my hand. So let's learn about Pentecost today. They say that Pentecost is the birthday of the church, so I think we're pretty much gonna throw a major party, which means we've got some preparations to do because this party's gotta be a really big one. So I'm making a list. And for a birthday party, we're going to need birthday cake, some streamers, balloons. I don't really know. What else do you get for a church birthday party? I'm going to look it up. Pentecost birthday party, church birthday party. Okay. So it says I need to have a dove, some wind and some fire at this party. Maybe even the color red, but I'm not entirely sure why. It's not like any birthday party I've ever seen. We should probably read the Pentecost story. Okay, so let's read what happened at Pentecost. We're gonna read from the book of Acts. Acts chapter two, beginning with the first verse. When the day of Pentecost had come, the disciples were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now, there were devout people from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each one of us in our own native language? All in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? Others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter raised his voice and addressed them. Listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, so this is what it was talking about, about needing, you know, fire and red and a rush of violent wind because of the story of Pentecost. So the rush of violent wind was they were all together in one place and from heaven there was a rush of violent wind on Pentecost. So that's why we should have a rush of violent wind at our Pentecost party, okay? And there were divided tongues of fire that came down on all of the disciples. So we should have something to represent fire and that's probably where the color red comes in because if we wear red, we're reminded of the Holy Spirit. And the dove is just so peaceful. The dove reminds us that we have been blessed with the Spirit of God. So all of these things are important for the birthday party of the church because this is when the church was born. Think about it. Up until this point, Jesus was there. Jesus was with them. And then all of a sudden, we heard about the ascension. We heard that Jesus went up to heaven, and all of a sudden, the disciples were by themselves. They didn't have Jesus among them anymore. So Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be among them. And through the Holy Spirit, we are empowered to serve the Lord in his name. I'm sure that you have gifts that you use to serve the Lord. Think about those gifts. 
Maybe you are a wonderful singer. Maybe you are a great listener. Maybe you have the ability to help others feel better. Maybe you have the ability to help others with their tasks. Maybe you can help mom or dad. Maybe you can help a sibling. Maybe you can reach out to someone else and just share your joy. All of these are gifts of the Spirit. All of these are things that we are empowered to do to share God's love in the world. So think about all of the gifts of the Spirit that you have. You might not be able to speak in all of the languages like the disciples did, but I'm sure that the Spirit has given you something even more special because it's your gift. So I hope you know just a little bit more about the celebration of Pentecost and the birthday of the church. So of course, it's time to get ready for a big party. We'll need a birthday cake, of course. We'll need those streamers and balloons, but don't forget about those symbols of Pentecost, the symbol of a dove, the symbols of wind and symbols of fire. Don't use actual fire without parental supervision, okay? Um, but make sure that you include those symbols of Pentecost in your celebrations. Wear red and celebrate the Spirit. And remember, you have the Spirit in you. Have a blessed Pentecost, a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I think Maggie's ready for the Pentecost party.